Hi, good afternoon, happy Friday. It's Friday the 13th in 2020. How ominous is that? But here we are. I'm here, I'm Vicki Stevens, representing the Episcopal Church of the Epiphany. Coming to you from the grand playroom at my house. I'd like to ask if you're online, would you mind just dropping me a comment so I'll know you're there? We're gonna start briefly in about two minutes. And uh, the odd thing about today is that we don't have a saint's day on the calendar. Most days there is a saint that gives me sort of a suggestion or a lead on what to speak on, but there is no saint today, so I'm on my own. Hi, Kim. Thank you for popping in. Good. It's always good to see you. So as I told um, someone earlier today, Amanda earlier today, that I'm going to be speaking about my earrings, and I bet you've not had uh, a compliment or a prayer meeting done about earrings before. But I have a friend, Jane, who makes earrings, and they're meaningful. This particular set has a G on one side, forgive, and on the other side, it has a T for take, so give and take. Uh, with my, my brain in between. And what I'm going to be talking about today is giving and taking and where we are. Now, this particular Friday is in the 23rd week of Pentecost. But I think a lot about Noah and the Ark and use COVID thinking about Noah and the Ark. They were afloat for 40 weeks but they didn't know it was going to be 40 weeks and they didn't know where they were going, just that they were on an ark because God had asked them to do that. And as we float around during this unsure period of COVID tide, we know that we're still afloat, but we don't know how long we're going to be here. And we don't know where we're headed. And we don't know that when our ark settles down, where it's going to land and what the landscape is going to look like. What will employment look like? What will school look like? What will our church look like? What will our homes look like? I think a lot of Mrs. Noah on the ark because we've got kids here in the house with us. And thinking of Mrs. Noah, I think of, that llama is touching me. <laughs> Can you make the monkey quit looking at me? Whose idea was it to bring mosquitoes anyway? You know, these are all valid questions for which we don't have answers. But as we float along during COVID time, let's use give and take and be one with one another, my brothers and sisters. So we will be starting the prayer today from the Book of Common Prayer on page 103, if you would join me. Hi, Amanda. Good to see you. O oh Lord, excuse me, O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Today's psalm, I'd like us to go on over to page 104 and do Psalm 121. Levavi oculos. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where is my help to come? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved, and he who watches over you will not fall asleep. Behold, he who keeps watch over Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord himself watches over you the Lord is your shade at your right hand, so that the sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. It is he who will keep you safe. The Lord shall watch your going out and your coming in from this time forth forevermore. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 
The scripture I want to read today is from uh, the People's Companion to the Breviary, which is used by Carmelite nuns. And it's the reading for the 23rd Sunday of Ordinary Time. And think about this in the give and take, if you will. It's Romans 13, 8 to 10. Owe no one anything except to love one another. For the one that loves another has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and any other commandment are summed up in this word. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no wrong to a neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. If you hear a little noise in the background, that's lunch going on in the house here. We, we do lots of things. Thanks be to God. I have a focus meditation here for you. As you may know, I'm uh, somewhat fond of Bishop uh, Stephen Charleston, who is a retired Episcopalian Bishop, the former Bishop of Alaska. He now lives in Oklahoma. Um, he writes very deeply of uh, an original spirituality. Only you know what blessing you need, only you and the Spirit. To the outside world, you may present a very different face than the one you see each morning in your mirror. You may have shown your family and friends that you are holding up fine because you do not want to worry them. You do not want to be a burden to those whose burdens are already heavy enough in this time of illness and turmoil. Your real feelings you hold close to your heart. The truth of your own need hidden, but no less real. And that private need is what I hope you will lift up to the spirit who loves you. The one thing you need most, lift it up today in that quiet space of your soul. Share it with the only one who will know. Then open your life to receive the blessing you need. For before the next sunrise, I believe you will start to feel that your prayer has been heard. You will begin to know the peace that passes understanding. Give and take with the Lord. Does anybody have any announcements today or any prayer requests that we need to cover? I know there are a lot of things uh, going on. If you'd be kind enough to go ahead and put those in now. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Pray with me please the, the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace, I give to you, my own peace I leave with you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of your church, and give to us the peace and unity of that heavenly city, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign now and forever. Amen. Okay, I see that have been asked to pray again. For those in Honduras that are trying to recover from Hurricane Ita, and it's not just Honduras, it's throughout Central America, they've really been devastated with loss of power and with flooding, and their infrastructure is greatly damaged. All the while, while they are likewise fighting COVID. 
a couple of announcements before I, I jump into the prayer intercessions. Uh, the pledge drive is still going on, so if you would be kind enough, if you've not completed already, go online to the Epiphany website or to eTidings, and you can either sign up there electronically or you can print it out and put it in the, um, leave it with the church. We've got services this Sunday, the outside services, that well this weekend are Saturday at 4.30 p.m. in the north parking lot. The weather will be 78 degrees, partly cloudy, 10% chance of rain, and 15 mile an hour winds from the southwest. Sunday morning, the outdoor service in the north parking lot is at 11 a.m. It'll be 61 degrees and clear, 10 miles an hour winds from the northeast, so it's kind of sweater weather. In both days, bring a chair, bring a mask. The indoor services, which also are distanced, you'll need to wear a mask, will be Sunday at 8.45 a.m. and Wednesday at 12.10 p.m. We live stream on Sundays at 10 a, excuse me, 10 a.m. Hang with me just a moment. I'm just checking to see if we've got any other requests. Uh, Amanda has given me the link, uh, which is HTTPS forms dot GLE. Tell you what, guys, this is a lot, lot of long letters. Uh, if you will just go to the Epiphany website or go to eTidings or call the church and we can get a pledge form to you. Sorry, Amanda, that's more letters than I can read uh, through my trifocals. Today we're praying for healing for Anne Vineyard, Jorge Aviles, D. John Tanner, Lisa Farrell, Doug Farrell, and Hazel Hill, Mary Braswell, Brian Croisdale, Carolyn Howell, Howell, Ken Batsler, Barbara Woodruff, John F. Tanner, Susan Brooks, June Sullivan, Hunter Haney, with parents Adrian and Jack, and brother Hudson. Uh, I would also like to add Wendy Zimmering to that list. Uh, there are many others within our parish and parish family who have been um, diagnosed with COVID. I would offer prayers for those who are ill, for those who are caring for those who are ill, and those who are recovering, because it can take quite a while. I ask for prayer for the unemployed, for those unsure about their jobs, for unsure about the future. I ask for prayers for students and teachers as they make it through this difficult time. I'd like to pray for the repose of the soul of George Bush, Pete Vineyard, who's the brother of Jim Vineyard, Tommy Lyles, and Jose de Jesus. On an up note, I'd like to wish a very happy third birthday to Adelaide Hughes. I have a final prayer here. It's from my favorite spot. I call it the Book of Face that was uh, submitted by uh, Reverend Richard Bott, who's a moderator in the Presbyterian Church of Canada, and it's prayer for putting on a face mask. I won't actually put this on because you wouldn't be able to hear me through it. Creator God, as I prepare to go out in the world, help me to see the sacramental nature of the wearing of this cloth. Let it be a tangible and visible way of living love for my neighbors as I love myself. Christ Jesus, since my lips will be covered, uncover my heart so that people would see the smile and the crinkles around my eyes. Since my voice may be muffled, help me to speak clearly, not only with my words, but with my actions. Holy Spirit, as the elastic touches my ears, remind me to listen carefully and caringly to all that I meet. May this simple piece of cloth be shield and banner, and may each breath that it holds 
be filled with your love in your name and in that love, I pray. Amen. Brothers and sisters, I leave you, leave you with give and take. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful weekend, and I look forward to seeing you next week.